Chennai based developers have started buying up defunct factories, mills, industrial land, you name it, to launch premium and luxury housing. In this upsell report, Jude Sanit captures this trend and finds out why it's a good bet for home buyers. This neighborhood in North Chennai is historic for more reasons than one. Perambur began as a city's cantonment area during the British Raj and quickly doubled up as the city's primary industrial zone. These bulldozers are today raising down a 140-year-old legacy, the historic Bini Mills. This dilapidated mill, also a prominent location for Tamil movies, will make way for North Chennai's largest township spread over 70 acres. A similar trend is also panning out in South Chennai near the international airport. Two months ago, local builder Casa Grande bought this five and a half acre land parcel in South Chennai that once housed automotive manufacturer Rani's valve making unit. The builder has backed a 58 crore rupee investment from Motilal Oswal for the upcoming luxury project. The market is not performing great, so it's better off for us to be realistic on the expectations and give a very, very good pricing. Actually, and to give you an indication, this location is about 7,500 rupees, 8,000 rupees by most of the builders in the surrounding location, whereas we would launch it at about 6,500 rupees, 6 to 6,500 rupees. So what does all this mean for the home buyer? For one, location. The Casa Grande, Ari Hunt and landmark transactions will allow people to live in the more older and prime localities of Chennai like Perambur. Remember, it's not easy to find homes in these parts. Plus, there's also a possible price appreciation of 10 to 15 percent. So you might want to strike while the iron is hot. In Chennai, this is Jude Sanat. And you can catch more of that trend on prime property over the weekend. For now, we have to wrap up this edition of India Business Hour. Thanks for watching. Your World at 10 coming up next.